ठाकुर की जय नवाचार्य हरिदास ठाकुर की जय गंगा जमुना तुलसी भक्ति बिल्ला देवी की जय भक्ति बिल्ला देव की जय भक्ता प्रहलाद महाराज की जय In the front, you should also always try to be in front, not if I'm doing then what any rogue in the ृष्णप्रेमाय <coughs> कृष्णाय कृष्ण चैतन्य नमे गुरुवत्ति गुरवे गौरचंद्राय राधिकाय सदाय कृष्णाय कृष्ण भक्ताय तद्भक्ताय महाप्रसादी <laughs> He used, he used this and it came to me anyhow. <coughs> and you know, you know, what name? Puru. Puru. Yeah. He has collected so many things, so many things. He wanted to give me all but I told that you should keep it better and you should take care. But it will be very grateful for you not to collect only all these outwardly things he has used inwardly things he cannot he cannot he cannot lose anything so you should try all try to gain inwardly things his teaching not only in black boxes it sometimes cheats no it will cheat you try to make here and krishna has given very powerful here so try to you shri bhakti mein aur thakur has told about bhakti tatva vivek and going to explain this oh no the prophet has not come um i'm going to explain this i know that some of us do they hear something but they don't try to follow actually this or acharyas has told and that 
given so much stress on this that is strongly that one. Nam and Nami, both are same. So if you want to have the mercy of Krishna, you should always chant. But I know very well, going, entering in their hearts, then they neglect it. I know. Especially I can take the name of the devotees who don't chant what they should chant. No? So if they are not following all the teachings which have been told, how they can then? The one who develops but not doing anything. So this is not process at all. This is actually and sincerely try to follow. If not fully, but something be there. And if you are neglecting, you cannot realize it. So you should try to follow it. Raghunath Das Goswami has told in Manas Siksha, Guru Goshthe Goshtha Leishu Sujane Bhusurugane Swamantre Sri Namni Vajidjuva Dandha Sarani Sadadam Vamditva Kuru Ratim Apurvam Atitam Aibhatas he is telling, he is not telling to others, he is not teaching to others. He is giving the teachings to his own mind. And telling that, you can come, all kinds of false ego. False ego. You should have a very pure uh, rati towards or under the lot of feet of all these things what he is doing. Hmm? Guru and Diksha. How we can do it? always hearing and following his instructions. Guru, Goshthe, always we should try to have very pure Rati. What is the meaning of Rati here? What is the meaning of Rati? Rati means first Shraddha, Sadhu Sangha, after that initiation from Guru, hearing from Guru, serving Guru, then doing bhajan actually of Anna Vilasita Srinam, Dhyan Karma Dhyana Vritam Ankulli Nitashna Nishilam, and then Anath going gradually. And a Sambandhriyan will come. And thus, chanting, remembering, doing all these things. This is Guru service, following Guru. Vishambhena Guru Seva means what is the meaning? Vishambhena. with a more of intimacy. Hmm. When this Visham will come, when you will realize that I am so much be benefited from my Guru Dev, hmm. then this Shraddha will come. Hmm. And then pain 
ar besiek te nusipal. Regarding Gurudev. And then Gosthalaisu, grow Gosthalaisu. What is the meaning of Gosthalaisu? Vrindavan is ghost. Naudip is also ghost. Also, Puri is ghost. But especially it has been told for Vrindavan. Those who are living there, who? Yasoda Manya, Nanda Baba, Sri Dham, Vasu Dham, Gopi, all. But it is not for general. They cannot see, they cannot meet with them. So Gosta lives here, Rup, Sanatham, and all other groups who used to live there. But we cannot, cannot also see them and meet them. Then those who are still there living and doing bhajan in the line of Rup, Sanatan, Ravuna, they are Gusthanis. So, especially Rup, Sanatan, Ravuna, Bhattar, and all, and others, those who are doing bhajan, have so much of rati, ruchi, Nishtha, Nishtha, Ruchi, Asakti, and then Rati comes with a better Rati. Hmm? And then Gosthalaisu, Sujane. Gosthalaisu, Takar Sujane. Sujane. What is the meaning of Sujane? Those who are not in our Sampradaya, Gauri or Vaishnava Sampradaya. But the devotees in Ramanu Sampradaya, Madhva Sampradaya, Vishnu Sampradaya, Dallavacya Sampradaya are doing bhajan. Even Ram Sampradaya, those who are doing bhajan. Actually Ram is himself Krishna. When he comes in the line of Marjada, to establish Marjada, then he becomes so all are in the family of Krishna. We should try to have so much love and affection for them. Those who are Brahman, not one pointed to Krishna, but even they go to Govinda, Gopinath, Madan Mohan, Radha, Damodar, and sometimes in Gopi, Gopi Shwar Mahadev and all other doing parikrama. So, don't criticize them. Also do it. Especially who, when in Vrindavan, don't neglect all these things. If anyone is criticizing being in Vrindavan, not having so much arati to all this, then it will be a very, very big, big offense. So we should try to advise and to follow. Shujane bhu suragane. Brahmins and after swan amni. Swamantri. means what Guru Dev has given. And if Gurudev has not given anything, and we have no certain Gurudev, we have not been initiated then, like zero, something is better that you are there. But at once try to have it, that is bona fide. Don't be it. And then do, doing all these things. Uh, Mantra, what he has given? Mantra. Brahma Gayatri, Guru Mantra, Guru Gayatri, Guru Mantra, Guru Gayatri, Gopal Mantra, Kam Gayatri, Pancha Tattva and Mahamantra. We should try to do it very, very patiently. 
not that we are sitting there. after taking bath and i will have to go here and there oh and very 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 soon i will have to do it okay the passion do tilak tilak mantra achaman achaman and everything and see it in a very calm and quiet and go to vrindavan on the bank of yamuna aradha kun sitting there seeing your prominating predominating dominating deity deities of mantra hmm. and that prapatti sharanagati atma nivedan none that what is the relation with mantra and try to remember very patient no hurry hmm? that i have to go here at the office hmm? so don't be hurry and how guru dev has told you have to try to do all these things and maha mantra nam Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Hare. Hare Hare. Sometimes we can, like Sri Krishna, Gopanga, Hare Mukunda, Govinda, He Nanda Kishore, Hari Jashoda, Kanaya Prashida, Sri Vallabhi Ji, One Radhika, So like this, Hara Radhika, Hara, hmm? like this. Eight. heart is not melting the yes has not come in chanting this name then this to understand that there is some fault fault that you should try to realize and try to remove and if you are not searching that thing then tell to guru dev like they have told to narad and he at once see your face or examine this till your form only by eye insight and he will give you good instructions so always chanting remembering adding some past tense remembering with name sometimes you can at that time uh, chant some shloka he krishna karuna shri dil bandho jagat pate gopesh gopika kant radha kant श्लोक विल ब्रिंग प्लेटी ऑफ वाटर श्योरली ट्राई टू डू लाइक दैट समाइम नमामि स्वरम सचिदानंदम को रिमेम्बरिंग दैट होल पास्ट टाइम it will come possibly even mind is not controlled at some stage your mind to govardhan and sharkam will be in the places of krishna krishna has done so many beautiful marvelous powerful sweet past so hari naam chanti in the night in the day time those who have left his home 
their home, their father, mother, children, wife, husband, all always chanting, remembering, doing all these things. And those who are with us, they should look after their house activities also and do it. Their marriage, their sons, their keeping, look after their houses and everything is to everything for Krishna consciousness. Krishna consciousness is not for for all these things <coughs> that we will be happy in this world with them. But to add something to to make our life easy to develop our Krishna. Develop our Krishna. If it is not going at once give up this world. What is the use? What is the use of all these doing? So if they are helpful in Krishna consciousness, then we should try to do all this. Otherwise, why not always chanting, remembering, hearing, being in the association of so good Vaishnava? So our husband, wife, children, all these things, activities as home, only add something in our Krishna. If they are not helpful, why bogus all these things? So, we should try to do Harinam like this. Daily, in the evening, after daytime, we can see our row cards. Row card, you know? Accounts. Accounts. Whether we are lost or in gain. Daily loss, daily loss in the evening we see. Then, why you are doing? If loss, loss, loss. So we should try to check our balance. Where our bhakti is reducing or increasing. If reducing, why? And if we are getting all very good, but in charge, we should go. And then, Love Rati in the lot of feet of Varijuva Danda Sarane in the lot of feet of conjugal Radha and Krishna Mahakuri Nityananda same thing. We should try to do like this. Sadadam Bhamhitva always giving up false egos of the life. I am so beautiful, I am so rich, I am so, I am so, I am, there are so many qualities in me. I am so much as strong, all this. So try to be like that. If Raghunath Das Goswami is telling less and less time, and Guru Dev is also telling, always remembering, but not following then what will be the result? So you should try to take it very strongly and do for go on. Now I am coming to that. Bhakti Tattva Vivi. The Bhakti Minor Thakur has written. Bhakti Tattva Vivi. He is telling 
most respectable Vaishnava. You should read, I will read Hindi and translate. परम आदरणीय वैष्णव जन शुद्ध हरि भक्ति का आस्वादन करना और प्रचार करना ही हमारा एक भक्त विनोद ठाकुर हो रिस्पेक्टेबल वैष्णव मंदिर विशुद्ध हरि भक्ति प्योर भगवत भक्ति टू रैलिस प्योर भक्ति and to propagate that pure bhakti is only our purpose uh, purpose bhakti vinod thakur associate of chaitanya mahaprabhu as well as divine bhakti of divine bhakti he is called kamal manjari in krishna leela and Bhakti Vinod Thakur in the past times of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. In both, he has two sets. He may have left and left sets in so many worlds with them during past time and serving his divine grace. So we should know what is that pure Bhakti. Try to first try to meet all your false egos like anger. If you have so much anger, you cannot understand all this. Try to be so humble. Yana Zapi Sune Chena Tarogapi Sahir Nuna. Amanina, Manadena, Kirtanya Sadaha. It should not be only in the Chaitanya Chaitanya. It should come to in our hearts. And if you are not following all these things, you know that it's always arrogant mood. You should obey me, I will not obey you. What I am telling you, it is true to accept. Not considering what he is telling, what he has, he is good, giving good advice or bad advice. No. No. Try to be like Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, he is associate. So much. But Udhar. Broad minded, yeah. many of us. Broad minded. Very good. So that. All can come to me. Always see that what he wants. Also try to realize their difficulties. And then try to hum dusro ka dukh sukh samaj ka हम अपने भावों को दबा करके भी उनके भावों को सुन करके उनके साथ मिलजुल करके विचार करेंगे ऐसा नहीं जो उनके भावों को सुने ही नहीं और अपने भाव को ही बलवान रखें तो ये एसोसिएशन नहीं है ये संग नहीं है कभी कभी अपने भावों को दबा करके गुरु का आदेश पालन करना होता है न? अपने भावों को दबा करके और उनके इच्छा अनुसार में काम ये सेवक का प्रधान धर्म है प्राइमरी फोर मोस्ट प्राइमरी ड्यूटी ऑफ द डिसाइपल ऑफ गुरु इज दैट वाइल ही इज डीलिंग विद हिज अदर गॉड मदर 
for Gurudev. And Gurudev Achha. also, he should see the sentiments, emotions and feelings of others and even killing his own sentiments, emotions and uh, feelings, he should respect and fulfill the desires of his Guru and his uh, uh, God brother. Understand? हो सकता है कि वो बिचारे गुरुजी जो आदेश दे रहे हैं वो हमारे अनुकु हम उसको ठीक नहीं समझ रहे हैं किंतु अपने इच्छा को दबाओ और खाली करो अपने हृदय को और उनसे भरो इट मे बी पॉसिबल दैट व्हेन गुरु इज गिविंग सम इंस्ट्रक्शन टू अस बिकॉज ऑफ आवर सो मेनी On feelings, we may not be able to understand his real meaning, what he wants to say. Maharaj is saying that we should evacuate our heart with our, our own type, our own feelings, and then we should try to understand the real instruction of Guru Dev <laughs> and follow. Jari Vaishnavo, हमसे बहुत उन्नत है. तो उनके पास जाने पर अपने सारे भावनाओं को अलग करो, शून्य बना दो, बंसी जैसा. और सुनो और उसमें भरो अपना भाव वहां पर रखेगा कोई भी तो नहीं सुन सकता जैसे अर्जुन ने किया है रूप गोस्वामी ने किया है जीव गोस्वामी ने किया रघुनाथ दास गोस्वामी इफ यू आर अप्रोचिंग टू ए वैष्णवा एंड पॉजिटिवली ही इज ए वेरी एडवांस डिवोटी देन इफ वेन यू गो टू हिम मेक योर हार्ट टोटली Empty. Empty and hollow like fluid. It should not contain your own feeling. Don't go to him with your own uh, thoughts and own thinking. Make it totally empty and hollow like fluid, and then try to understand as Arjun did when he surrendered to Krishna, as Sri Sanatan Goswami did. Madhyam Adhikari ka char kar sabda. There are four duties of Madhyam Adhikari. प्रेम टू कृष्ण और महाप्रभु एंड मैत्री टू वैष्णवाद दो आर सुपीरियर मैत्री प्लस सर्विस स्टूडेंट दो आर इन इक्वल मैत्री सो मच मैत्री मैत्री मीन एंड दो आर सम जूनियर मैत्री विथ सम अफेक्शन मैंने मर्सी कंपेशन एंड दोज हु आर कनिष्ठ वैष्णव नॉट सो मच एडवान सो मच मर्सी कृपा ऑलवेज टेलिंग देम हरी कथा दे मे डू समथिंग बट वी शुड थोल रेट If the doctors are going to operate anyone, and he is abusing or doing here and there, but very patiently, mother or doctors and father they tolerate and do grateful. So this should tolerate all this and try to obey all this. And those who are by mook, opposite, opposite mook. When some apparat, we should try to neglect them, not quarrelling, like Pralad Maharaj with his father, like others, like Yudhishthir Maharaj to Duryodhan. He never told Duryodhan. He told always Su Yudhan. Dosasan, not Dosasan. Su Sasan. Karana, not like that. Su Karana. Like that. So we should try to obey all these things. These are the ground level. This is the platform of bhakti. If the platform is not made, okay, then all this instruction, the shower of instructions will come. <coughs> But your ego is like mountain. <laughs> They will go down. Never, they will be there. And that those who are polite, 
Those Bhakti Vinayat Abhishuni, they will gain everything and we will do nothing. So, uh, here we will be six, seven days in morning. We will be Bhakti Tattvavi. And knowing this, actually we will follow Bhakti. What is pure Bhakti? And then we can propagate to others. And also we can follow all these things. So, to relish what is Bhakti in Russia and to propagate the pure Bhakti is our aim and object. That is why we are going to know what is Shuddha Bhakti. Shuddha Bhakti ka Shuruk kya hai? Ye nirane karna hai. We are going to kya? You can read. Therefore our foremost duty is to understand the true nature of Shuddha Bhakti. Hmm. Wow. This understanding will benefit us in two ways. First, knowing the true nature of Shuddha Bhakti can dispel our ignorance concerning the topic of Bhakti and thus make our human life successful uh, by allowing us to relish the nectar derived from engaging in Shuddha Bhakti in its pure form. Mm-hmm. Secondly, it will enable us to protect ourselves from the polluted and mixed conceptions which, con- which currently exist in the name of Shuddha Bhakti. You are hearing? What will be the two effects? Yourself, yourself. What is your name, please? Divakar. Divakar Prabhu. Divakar Prabhu. What will be the two gains by knowing what is the real bhakti? What will be the gain? Uh, why you are not listening? Why you came with me here? To hear, but not hearing? I was thinking that you are an Try to be always with me. With heart, mind, eyes, ears, everything. What is to? It relieves one from the contamination of material, from the material contamination. It helps one to more, more lovely. It protects one from the contamination of the material existence. It yeah. helps one to advance in bhakti. Very good. So we should try to know bhakti. But. Now a days, pure bhakti is very rare and the devotees who are performing this bhakti, adopting bhakti, doing bhakti, they are all karma mishra, jnana mishra, yoga mishra, all contaminated with all these things, not pure bhakti. And they think that, oh, we are doing pure bhakti. So we must know what is pure bhakti. This would be. Unfortunately, in present day society, in the name of Shuddha Bhakti, various types of mixed devotion, such as Karma Mishra, mixed with sort of action, Jnana Mishra, mixed with speculative knowledge, and Yoga Mishra, mixed with various types of yoga processes, mm. as well as various polluted and imaginary conceptions are spreading everywhere like germs of plague. Yes. What is Karma Mishra? What is Bhakti is here? Can I back there? Why you can let? <coughs> huh? We will have to punish <laughs> all who will come late. <laughs> Also, his category of that, frame please. <laughs> He's hiding. Oh, right. What is Karma Mishra? You should extend that thing. Oh, you should come here. Both. <laughs> come on, come on. Very. Thank you.
performing some activity um, in Vanashram system, etc. But here, Kama Mishra Bhakti means that one is performing some devotional activity, but within the heart, it is not Shuddha Bhakti, it's not Putin Bhakti. There's still that mix of desire for sense gratification. So in that way, this Kama Mishra is mm -hmm. different from the karma of the mm -hmm. person doing Vanashram, mm -hmm. who is not got faith in Krishna. Okay. okay. I have one more. My grandma once said that someone who has a desire to enjoy the fruits of the activity, mm -hmm. the result of that is that he can only be elevated to the heavenly planet. He cannot go to Krishna's abode. We should know what is karma. What is karma? Any activity, any individual, to test the fruit is karma, anything. So if you are chanting, remembering, doing anything, but you want to test the fruit, then it is karma mishra. But no relation with Sorry. devotion, only for uh, testing ourselves, then it will be pure karma. Jab hum apne liye jo kuch karte hain, when we do for ourselves, myself, that I am eating mango. Who is eating? Who is testing? I am testing. So to eat mango is pure karma. No relation with bhakti anything. But if you think that uh, I have offered this mango, very mango, not anything, myself. I am not offer, offered myself, but I have offered that very mango. Why? Because I will take a revenant and I will be so healthy and I will be so powerful. Then it will be somewhat like karma pradhan pradhani bhuta bhakti pradhani bhuta na pradhani bhuta karma pradhani bhakti here prominence of karma prominent is karma and bhakti is subordinate it is also karma mishra and when uh, bhakti will be more powerful and karma to test will be some lower, then it will be called Pradhani Bhuta Bhakti. Pradhani Bhuta Bhakti. Here Bhakti is prominent. prominent. But karma is also there. But when Anna Vilasita Shunilam, totally. No Anna Vilasita. No desire to test anything. Only to serve Krishna. Shavanam, Kirtanam, Vishnu, Ishmaranam, Avishivanam, Archanam, Bandhanam. To please my Gurudev, to please Radha and Krishna. Then it will be pure. Otherwise it will be Karma Mishra. Patram, Pushpam, Thalam, Toyam, Jhumi, Bhaktya, Prayachyati, Tadam, Bhakti, Upasitam, Shnani. This is also not so good, so high. Why? We should try to offer our Atma, myself, ourselves, all senses, heart, everything, first to the Gurudev and then to Krishna. Itipun Sarvita Vishnu, Bhakti Sal, Namalakthana, Create Bhakti, Adhatan Manne if anyone is not surrendered himself in the lot of feet of Gurudev and then to Krishna and Radha and Mahaprabhu, then he can offer anything to Krishna. It may be that he will take partly, partly not Krishna. But if anyone is surrendered himself, now I am yours. You are my beloved. You are my son. 
you are my friend and then doing anything then it is pure bhakti but you have so many cows hundreds of cows and only one kilo milk you are offering to krishna and what other thing if you are offered yourself in the lotus feet of krishna or gurudev you are nothing you are nishkinchan vaishnav only by the remnant you are maintaining your life and all these things then anything you will not have to offer because you have offered yourself then what you will give to krishna all our then it will be pure bhakti otherwise if are not offering offering yourself something you get set in life of rupees to gurudev gurudev and mohan and otherwise uh, other hand one disciple he has nothing to give he has given everything to gurudev my heart and my soul everything but he is serving who is superior whole day and night serving gurudev he has nothing to give more because he has given himself so his property his wife children and if he has nothing like hanuman everything krishna there is nothing anything more to offer krishna because he has all so what he is doing as a servant he is doing so this is pure bhakti and if he has not offered himself any part anything he is a very big rich person and he has given crores and crores of dollars but he has not given himself then there is something lacking it is not true so it will be karma nishra in the same way gyan nishra matter no thakur will explain all this so try to realize all this ho gaya ho gaya hamare pehle hi dekh liye then so the first example is that one takes the fruit for his own sense gratification and he does not offer it so that one is just common no common nature but the first example if one just takes the, the mango himself not offering anything to krishna nothing so that's no common nature that's just common ভগবানের <laughs> 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 then karma mishra hmm pradhani bhuta ka koi udharan patra pushpam phalam ten pradhan utar dharan ha pradhani bhuta patram pushpam phalam swayam jo hi bhakta puja chhati he is giving fruit only not himself hmm? the fruits of all karms jat jat karomi tat tat tasmai totally i think i should not tell but i am telling to you that arjun is surrendered gopis are surrendered 
and if gopis are taking anything not giving to krishna oh krishna uh, what mantra shrim gaurayo swaha shrim prim radha krishna dham nama etat naivedyam paniyam tambulam everything they are not doing like that and they are krishna is sitting there and they are oh you will take and take <laughs> this is your bhakti because they are what everything they have given everything everything nothing is there their body their mind soul is krishna. of krishna so if are, they are not offering outwardly but they have offered everything so this is pure bhakti sometimes you will give to sukadev goswami anything and he will take at once no offering like this no <laughs> you know this <laughs> like this go 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 in and by like this like like any mudra ankush mudra no need of all the they will never do gopis are even ram will not do hanuman or if you give to sukhdev he will take and no he has not of all krishna and he is taking are you are kanista dikari more than kanista dikari you can do So gopi take anything they do singar to become so beautiful for home for krishna so we should try to do first offer yourself what you are but for grihas it is very hard but it may be like pandavas gopis and all other like uh, ambrish maharaj they can he was king he had so much big king mm. kingdom uh, sons daughter wife so many things but he was shuddha bhakt because he has offered him now we should know about gyan also what is gyan first we should know what is gyan you think hmm. um just ordinary gyan or gyan mr bhakti no i am telling gyan not karma what is gyan what is gyan no what is the definition of gyan no no what knowledge what do you think ah uh, bolie well, Uh, cultivation of knowledge for the sake of liberation. Ah, he has eaten. So, worldly knowledge about anything is general for um, jada gyan. And material when and uh, material knowledge. And when we have no faith on material knowledge, it cannot give us pleasure, happiness in my life. and after this life so we want salvation so what is brahma what is mukti knowing this am and of what uh, the am and object of the life will be salvation knowing that i am soul and not body soul is not eating body is eating so he is thinking am brahmasmi myself is brahma i am brahma i am brahma and in the last he wants salvation this is called nirvishesh gyan gyan are of also two kinds nirvishesh gyan and tattva gyan here tattva gyan is called bhakti in first stage so here only to have salvation his all activities is known as gyan 
बट ज्ञान मिश्रा भक्ति वट विल बी ज्ञान मिश्रा भक्ति नव रूपन when one has the realization that material life is full of suffering and one wants to be free from that suffering and one realizes that without taking shelter of bhakti it is not possible to attain liberation and so one adopts some of the uh angas of bhakti uh with a desire to obtain liberation freedom from material suffering that is gyanamishra bhakti <laughs> And when he knows that bhakti can do everything, so giving up this in every stage, yeah. like Sukhdi Goswami, Chatusan Brahma, um, Sanakshanandan, Sanat Kumar, and all this, they were always also within this category. But at last, by the mercy of Brahma, Chatusan, and by the mercy of Das Dev, Sukhdev Goswami. Gave up this gain and became Shuddha Bhakta. Like he has told, Atma Ramasya Muniyo Nirvantha Purukrame Kurvanti Haitukin Bhaktim Ittam Bhut Vuno Hari By the mercy of Shukadeva Goswami, he realized the good qualities of Krishna and he gave up that thing and become pure Rashik Tattvati Bhakta. What you are telling? So, the person who is doing Kalanisha Bhakti, he knows that the goal is Krishna. He knows, but he has some myths. No, not knowing. That is why he is telling that you should know. Because he is not Shuddha Bhakta, he has no Shuddha Guru, no Shuddha association of Bhakta, that is why he is not knowing. Being association, he will know all these things, then he will get karma and become pure Bhakta. So somebody theoretically knows, but still there is... So they don't that. know, really. For instance, like myself, for myself, I don't know, but I have some theoretical understanding. Your Bhakti is not contamination, but there are some weakness, there are something lacking, hmm? not so much sukriti and sanskar. So, it may be like kanista dhikari, no contamination, but it is still some weakness, durvalta, but pure bhakti, chanting, remembering, doing all these things. And there is something karma. There is also some karma mixing, some jnana also. But gradually, in the association of pure association, gradually you will give up. Because you are knowing that our aim and object is that. But karma mixture of after they don't want, they don't know all these things. You are in the line of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, in Bhakti line. You have been initiated. You know some relations also, but it's still some weakness and there is something lacking. Hmm. Yes, Audrey. Naranji, who uh, was also in, in the beginning in the Karmistra stage, but Naran was a pure Guru. Hmm. He could not follow Narad. Narad wanted to make him so pure, but he was in that position that actually he was not in a position to follow totally to Narada. He wanted. So it may be that Guru is pure, but his disciples may not be pure. It may be. And nowadays like this. If anyone pure guru like Bhakti Siddhanta Sati Goswami Thakur or Sri Bhakti Vedanta Swami Maharaj, he has less and less disciples, but he has only one or two disciples, or it may be that uh, Grihast may be not uh, uh, renowned for that. Isn't not that by definition, Kanishka, uh, because of his lack of advancement? 
the heart must have contaminations of karma and uh, yang? Parkinson. It may be some, but gradually he will develop his peaceful consciousness and give up. But if he is gradually going down in lack of Shuddha Bhakti, or association, he is not ready to follow, then he is making some offenses. <coughs> and due to that, he is going down. So Bhakti Vinod Thakur is telling them, we should know what is karma, then what is gyan, what is job, and then what is really Suddha Bhakti. Uh, in bhakti, suddha bhakti, uttama bhakti, some gradation. We are in gradation, not in karma. And try to understand. Anyone is following anyabhilasita sunyam dhyan karma dhyana prasam ankullina krishnam silanam bhakti uttama. This is uttama bhakti, sarup siddha bhakti. But there are some gradation. Gradations. He is not in Uttama Bhakti, but he is doing something. He is beginner. So that's some. But his karma is not. Because he has tried and promised that I am offering myself in your lotus feet. He has promised in Gurudev. To Gurudev. When he took Diksha or initiation or Harinam. Gurudev, I will totally follow you. I have become yours, but he has not become like this. Gradually we will know all these things. We will explain very, very clearly all these things. That we will know automatically and your bhakti will be so strong. Now, 12. <coughs> all right, um, this way, uh, I understand that you want to say if aim and objective by the association of Guru is clear that what we have to do and we feel like to surrender, then our bhakti is not karmisha. And uh, he has been initiated and he has some relation. What is and he tries to some gender gyan. And he has. Uh, offered himself. He desires to offer. Mm -hmm. He has offered, but he don't, he, he does not know what he is offering, <laughs> but, <laughs> but he has offered. <laughs> I am giving this to you, but he has, oh, this, this chatter was so good. <laughs> <laughs> like this. He has given it. But some, something is uh, attachment. Oh, I have given, I have given. He is not thinking that it is Gurudev or it is of Krishna, totally. I am not owner. So in offering and in giving, there is much difference. It was mine and I am offering to Gurudev. But Bhakt does not think like it was the remnant of Krishna. Owner is Krishna. He has mercifully given me. To to what? Allow me to serve my guru. Uh, to serve my guru. But actually it is not mine. I am not mine. My body is not mine. Everything belongs to Krishna. So if this mode comes, then pure bhakti will come. Go Pramanande. Kirtan? Can I make an announcement before? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah certainly. I'd like to make one short announcement. Um,